My name is Rayla. Hey, what's going on? It's yeah. Nikki B. Hi, guys. My name is Devin. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Meg. What's up, y'all? This is Chanel. Good, it's your boy, uh, more. What up? It's your host, R. Moore. Uh, as you see, we're doing a female edition. A lot of ladies out there wanted to voice their opinion at the... The BP crew had uh, answered some very con- controversial questions. Uh, so without further ado, hope you enjoyed the episode. I fucks with these hoes from a distance. The instant they start to catch feelings, I start to steal in their shit. Then I'm out just like a thief in the night. My name is Raven. And I'm here to talk about... Why men cheat? <laughs> this is like a problem that has gone on all through history. Fortunately for you, I am here and I know why men cheat. So I'm going to tell you why they do and how to make them not. Here is the answer. Men cheat because of sandwiches. And if you don't want them to cheat, you have to present them with the most delicious irresistible, ridiculous sandwiches at all times. I'm talking 3 a.m. I'm talking in the car while he's driving. I'm talking when he's at work at his desk and, you know, he's hungry. If your man could get a sandwich anywhere on this planet, at any moment, wouldn't you want to provide him with the most irresistibly delicious, delectable, fresh, fantastic sandwich that you could. You don't want him going to the corner bodega. You don't want him going down to Wawa and getting a generic sandwich. No. You want your man right by you and you want to be slicing that bread for him. That fresh ass bread. If he wants it toasted, you take those two delicious buns and you toast them golden brown and you serve those to him, to your man, wherever he wants it, whenever he wants it. Man wants to eat his sandwich like it's like an animal, like super fast. That's fine. You get it all over his face. You know what you do? You get him a towel, you get him a napkin, you wipe him down. Because that's your man. You provide. You don't ever let him be hungry for anything other than your sandwich. And ladies, that. That is how you keep your man from cheating. So if you do not want your man to cheat, if you're wondering why do men cheat, now you have your answer. Hashtag sandwich game proper. Hey, what's going on? It's Nikki B. So I'm basically just here to discuss what I like to call the eighth wonder of the world. Why do guys cheat? So it's obviously not a single answer for this age old question. All of us females have definitely been cheated on at least one time in our dating careers. So it's a couple reasons as to why I believe dudes cheat and I'm gonna let you in on me. The first reason, number one, the thought of being stuck with just one Punanski terrifies the hell out of me. It's just like Fab said, meal ain't good without something on the side. And y'all greedy ass bulls, want all types of fixing with y'all meals. You want the loaded baked potatoes, you want the steamed rice, the greens, the entire dessert menu. But everybody knows the mashed potatoes are never as good as the filet mignon, so y'all need to cut it out with all that extra shit. Stop being fat boys and get your ass on a diet. Second reason. You know, right now we're in an era where the thirst as at an all-time high, and these ratchet bitches are throwing themselves at dudes left and right with zero type of shame. And dudes are weak as fuck when it comes to temptation. Y'all have zero type of willpower to say no to vagina, even though you got a perfectly good one waiting on your trifling ass at home. My third reason as to why dudes cheat is because y'all swear y'all are so slick and can get away with it. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little something. It's 2012. We now live in a world of social media. Three clicks of my mouse and I will know everything about every little female you be talking to on Facebook, Twitter, Skype, 
the works. Y'all swear we're clueless and dumb, but whatever shirt, whatever shit y'all be doing will surface. Point blank, period. So y'all need to stop. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? It's Meg. So the topic for today is why do men cheat? But I think that I actually might have the answer and the solution um, to fix this little problem of why men cheat. Now, when I look at something like this, I like to break it down to three categories. Um, Him actually getting caught when he tries to come back to you in the conclusion. So we'll just give an example. It's uh, it's a Saturday morning. You uh, had an easy night. You stayed in, played some games with the family, whatever. You uh, you let your boyfriend go out and hang out with his friends. Really? Well, what did she look like? Do we know her? They were what? They were what? All right. No, I'm gonna have to give him a call and talk about this. So I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. So, you just got a call from your girlfriend, letting you know that she uh, she saw your man out last night, and uh, unless guys uh, like to wear six inch heels and tight black dresses, you know, now, then uh, I don't think he was out with his guys. So this is where we separate the men from the boys, the experienced cheaters from the guys who just don't really know what they're doing. So a guy who really doesn't know what he's doing, he's never really cheated on a girl before, he's gonna be falling all over his words. He's gonna be telling you some crazy BS that it's his grandmother's, sister's, daughter's, cousin, twice removed, something ridiculous like that. Now, pay attention, because a more experienced cheater is gonna try and play a little trick on you. And believe me, it's gonna be hard not to fall into this trick. This guy, is gonna try and turn around his, his cheating ways and make you feel bad about it. No, 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 that is BS. He lied to you in the first place, told you he was going out with his friends, and wasn't. So, a guy can go two ways from here. A guy that, I hate to tell it to you, probably didn't really care that much about you is gonna say, mm, on to the next one. A more experienced guy is gonna keep calling you. He's gonna send flowers to work. He's gonna send you cute emails. He's gonna call you up and be like, let's go to Applebee's, get some half off apps. You know, he's really gonna come at you hard, but you have to stand strong. If you let him come back into your life, he's going to do it again. And that is why men cheat, because we let them. Don't take him back. When was the last time you heard of a relationship where the guy cheated on the girl three times? twice, even once, and it lived happily ever after, never. This man took all of your beauty and all of your great qualities and characteristics and swept her under the rug for one night with another woman. Do not take him back, be strong, and find someone who's gonna know what your worth is. Until next time. Hi guys, my name is Devin, AKA Decal. so, I have a few reasonings for why I believe that guys cheat on their girlfriends. Number one, I think that guys cheat on their girlfriends because new pussy is better than old pussy. And apparently that means loyal pussy. Regardless of the situation at home, they could have four years under their belt with this woman and everything's great and they're still going to want variety in their lives. They're with the woman that they love, but they're still fucking other girls because it's simply because of sex. Um, whereas a woman might step out to fill a void or because she feels neglected at home, men are doing it just to get off. Which brings me to my next topic, women. As long as there are women that are ready and willing to have sex with these men, regardless of their status, regardless of if they have a ring on their finger, if, if they have a girlfriend, it doesn't matter. There's just too many little ho-hos out here ready to have sex and do whatever and that's that. Speaking of women, my third reasoning for why guys cheat is honestly because women enable them to. Uh, every girl in, once in their life, I'm sure, has turned a blind eye to her boyfriend cheating or whatever excuse you may believe or tell yourself to sleep at night. But the reality of it is, if they can have their cake and eat it too and get it fed to them, I'm, why, why would they change? There always are exceptions, obviously, so know what to look for, ladies, because you're going to end up being the fool if not. What's up, y'all? This is Chanel.
aka Libra Lady underscore. Follow me on Twitter. This is my first official board professionals episode. That for me. Um, I'm not board professional, but I had to answer this very important question. Why do men cheat? Now, I think men cheat for different reasons. No two people are the same. So um, I put them in three different categories. So let's break it down. The first category, men who cheat because they can. Plain and simple, if they can get away with it, why would they not do it? Um, a lot of women ask, like, I don't understand why how my man can cheat on me over and over again. Listen to yourself. You know he's cheating and you're still with him. That's called best of both worlds and he's getting it. Let's move on. I think a majority of the male cheating population falls in the second category. The men who cheat because they're weak. They can't control um, their bodily desires and um, they ha just have no self-control. They're cheating and they're saying, well, you know, my woman's not doing this or my woman's not doing that. They're always blaming it on the woman. <laughs> No, you're cheating because you're weak as hell and you can't control your feelings and your emotions and your penis. Plain and simple. So stupid. It's just dumb to me. Do you just have a blackout period where you're like, you're not even thinking about your significant other? I don't understand it. So, so um, cheating to me is definitely a sign of weakness. Um, the third category, which I can kind of understand, a man who is trying hard but slips up and cheats because they're not satisfied in the relationship. And those are the people who need to get out of the relationships because there's always going to be something missing until you find that one who makes you settle down and makes you not want to go out and look for other things. So that's my answer. So if you are really trying to do the right thing, more power to you. And until next time, this. So I see y'all ladies think y'all got us down packed. Talking about we weak, any type of female come around. We ain't that weak, god damn. Whatever, don't judge me. I hope y'all enjoyed the female edition. And fellas, I think we might have to fire back. So I'll see y'all in the next episode of Boy Professionals.